Let's learn you a few things about Old West fighting. First, only a novice hides in a church steeple. It's the first place I'm gonna look. Second place, hotel window every time. I guess there's only one novice in their crew. Sometimes the window guy is on the roof. Ah, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into it with another Legends of the West video. And my deepest apologies to uh, Cthulhu Watu. Uh, because I screwed up and he was actually supposed to be this week's winner in the first place. So to make it up to him, he's made it to the Grim Picks. And his request was for Roycephus, I dare not try to pronounce that last name, holy crap, from R.I.P.D. Oh lord, I'm not gonna lie. As I was sitting here actually trying to grow out the facial hair for this, because that was part of the request, I actually sat down and watched the entire movie from start to finish. Just because I happen to own it, and come to think of it, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. So without further ado, let's start off with the outfit and break it down piece by piece, shall we? Starting off with the hat. Granted, uh, my options for hats are kind of annoying, since the specific part of this was as requested for Arthur, which means I don't have quite everything bought and unlocked because I don't have access to armadillo and tumbleweed yet. That all said, thankfully I didn't really need it. Because all honesty, the Panama hat, it, it works. It even comes in the exact colors I needed for it. Which I'm really thankful for. I'm usually screwing the pooch on that or just, uh, honestly, saying fuck it and throwing it to the wind. And my apologies if I start swearing up a storm in these videos from now on because, uh, well, Frankly, fuck the FTC. <laughs> None of my videos are technically really pointed towards children. Honestly, I got a mixed audience. Enough of my rambling about legislature and BS. Let's move on to the coat. Where I believe the Rambler jacket. And yeah, a nice dark navy blue. It's just perfect. Just perfect. You can't go with the black one if you're later on in the store and you have access to Blackwater, but it's not necessary per se. For vests, the good old classic vest, also in dark navy blue, which thankfully isn't dark enough to completely match the jacket, which I love the hell out of. I, I love the contrast this goes with. For shirts, everyday shirt in white. Simple as that. We're going to pop that collar open. If you are making this on John Marston instead, you will have access to the high narrow neckerchief around his neck, which actually he wears in the movie. So, yeah, good on you for that. Moving on to pants. The town pants, as they're about the only ones that come in a dark blue pinstripe, really. They also just really work for the look. I'm gonna lie, this is one of the most accurate freaking outfits I've done yet. No suspenders, because we're not gonna see them. No chaps for boots. I can't remember if I ever did these before, but the sportsman's boots. I don't think that I've ever done these on the channel. We're gonna want these in this, uh... I want to call it like a weird off chocolate brown. I'm not sure what to call that color. But you're going for this color. Which are about dead on. I think the boots themselves are about dead on. Except I think his heels are way higher, which... After watching the movie, I can't get that out of my freaking head how high his heels were. Moving on, no spurs, no mask, no bandanas, no neckwear unless you're playing as John Marston, in which case you'll have his neckerchief available to you, which I recommend. Gloves, no. Weapon equipment, honestly the upgraded stuff is about as close as you're really going to get to his holster setup, but honestly it's dealer's choice. And same goes with satchels, talismans, we're not going to use talismans. Ah. Uh, so, that's the outfit. Let's go ahead and move on to the barber, and finish off the last of this request. God, I wish you grew out the facial hair a little bit faster. Also, anyone else notice this? This bugs the crap out of me ever since day one. Why your mustache grows at a stupidly fast friggin' time frame versus everything else. Like, I'll always notice how prominent the mustache gets whenever I'm doing this stuff to grow out my facial hair in this game. And every friggin' time, the mustache is just like the first to get max length. Anyway, starting off with the hair, when it comes to styles and length, 
we're going to want to go with Sweat Back. Preferably at the max length of 7. Though you can shorten it to 6 and it actually works out pretty decently. Not gonna lie. And as for facial hair, this gets a little bit more confusing and I have a few recommendations here and there. For mustache styles, honestly, the handlebar or the pencil really work as long as it's above 5 for the pencil and above 3 for the handlebar. Sadly, this is about the time where the movie actually uh, ended for me, so I decided it was about time just to make the video because I, I can't waste too much more time. I personally recommend the pencil, but mostly it's the other choice between the two. For chin styles, you get that wonderful uh, <laughs> Billy Goat moment I can think of. Dear sweet lord, for that just wonderful goatee. The double four chin at a length of two. As it'll be long enough to really sell the look, but it won't be long enough to actually fork, so it's just that nice little patch there. When it comes to sideburns, you can go with the Dundreary, that dumb I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, screw it. These sideburns, I'm tired, leave me alone. <laughs> Preferably at length of one, but of course you could also just go without, and it's not gonna hurt the look at all. That all said, that's it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to come back to this game even though I know I suck at it between Call of Duty, Ghost Recon, all the other freaking crap I've been playing as of late. But come December 13th where we get the new Frontier Pursuit, Moonshine, God only knows what the hell that is, I can only imagine, but it sounds like another way to make some uh, quick and easy cash that will probably be bugged all hell and abused and exploited until they patch the crap out of it literally within days. Anyway. Thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course sharing it with your friends. My god, it actually really sells the look and the light too, Jesus, I didn't even notice that before. And being that this is a Grim Picks, I am not taking requests per se, but I am open suggestions, because I'm frankly out of freaking ideas. <laughs> uh, I do hope to see you all come December 13th when the new content drops, because you know me and Insane will be on top of that and nothing flat. Hopefully along with Small Timer and a few of our other friends. Anyway, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then. Wish I had an emote to tip my hat or something. That'd be freaking amazing for my send-offs.